Hello, Joe Computer Guy. About a month or so ago, I had a video called eBay Super Sale in which I sold my Nikon D7000, and I think it was three lenses I sold, and everything went really, really well. I made about $1,200 on my eBay Super Sale. There were a few other little things I sold, but I made about $1,200, and so I was excited to really start researching and really find the ultimate uh, vlog type setup. I've been researching for quite a while and I'm a huge uh, a fan of the Micro Four Thirds market. Why that is is because the quality you get for the price is uncanny. I mean, it's better than anything you're gonna find. If you go with like a full frame or if you go with like a DX sensor, the lenses are gonna be bigger, which means the element, the glass elements in the lenses are bigger, which all that adds up to more expensive lenses. The thing I like about Micro Four Thirds is you can get really, really solid good lenses for a reasonable price. Lenses that would be eight or 900 uh, on a DX or, or an LX or a full frame body, you can get Micro Four Thirds for three or 400. So the Micro Four Thirds solution is a smaller, more compact, and I honestly think that the quality for the price just is, so I was sold on the Micro Four Thirds market. So of course I was looking at the Panasonic line. I've always owned the LX7, which I love. That's a compact, you know, uh, camera. Um, and so I was already familiar with, with the Lumix uh, Panasonic brand and I, it's very, very solid. I decided to take that $1,200 and instead of buying new equipment, I decided to go look at equipment on eBay. Now eBay, shopping on eBay, in my opinion, is something that if you know how to do it, if you're, if you're aware of what is going on, like if you're familiar with, with the product you're buying and the description is very well done and the pictures are very well taken with proper lighting so you can see the actual um, quality or actual condition of the products you're buying, you think that if somebody had 30,000 transactions and is like 99.8% on their, their feedback rating, more than likely that's the product you're gonna get. And so that's kind of my attitude with eBay. Um, this particular combination would have cost me probably $1,500 if I were to buy it new, but because I went to eBay, I got this entire setup for under $1,000. First off, the camera body that I chose was the GH4. The Panasonic Lumix GH4. Now brand new, like a B&H or Amazon, this is a $1,000 camera body. I was able to find one for $650 on, on eBay that is, was in minty, minty condition. Really good condition. Came with the box, came with all the packaging material. Very similar to the D7000 that I sold with the box and the packing material. It's the exact same type of thing. So that led me to the lens. What is the lens that I'm going to get to go on the GH4? Now, the thing is I wanted, I, I, I don't like zoom lenses. I don't like zoom lenses because they're big and they're bulky and optically they're, they're inferior to a prime lens in my opinion. Um, and so I wanted to get a prime lens, but what is the proper prime lens that will be the most useful. I, mean, I don't like to be taking lenses off and on really. Um, so I was looking at a focal length between, uh, maybe I was looking at the Panasonic, the 20 millimeter F17, which is a little pancake lens. And I was doing research and I had come to find out this lens has a very, there's two versions of it. Why is there two versions? And I guess the second version, the autofocus is really noisy and the lens is made out of plastic and the optics, the optics, I guess, sounded fine, but the build quality wasn't that great. And so I started looking at who is really working the Micro Four Thirds lens market. It's Olympus. Olympus, I've decided that every lens I buy uh, for the Micro Four Thirds system is gonna be an Olympus lens. Um, their build quality is just superb, their optics are superb, and their prices are reasonable. Um, so I decided to go as my main lens, the Olympus 17 millimeter F18. And this is just a beautiful lens. I love it focally because the Micro Four Thirds is about double uh, you know, a 35 millimeter sensor. So you basically take your 17, you double that 34. So my focal length is 34, which is like the sweet spot, really. You know, it's a, uh, it's just wide enough to get a good shot, but it's not so wide that it's distorted. 
and this lens you can you can actually get a good depth of field with like i say the build quality is super good the autofocus is silent i can't even tell when it's auto focusing and um the optics are superb you get like that just kind of milky beautiful uh, it's just this this lens is is absolutely stunning now this lens new is was like 399 um but i found it on ebay i found it on ebay for 229 and again, minty, nearly new condition. It didn't come with the box, but who the f cares? There were several pictures of the lens. The pictures were done very well with good lighting. And I could tell that the lens elements, the optics, the, 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 the patina, everything on this lens looked minty, brand new. And when I got the lens, it was beautiful. It was perfect. It was exactly like pictured. It looked like a brand new lens. A quick little talk about the uh, GH4. This is a great, great camera. This is the 17mm Olympus, 17mm uh, f1.8. As you can see, I can get very, very close and still get a pretty... I mean, that's a solid focus right there. Not only that, but I can pull it way out and I can really get some, some wide shots as well. Also, the, uh, the autofocus. It's pretty uh, stunning as well. There's the autofocus, and again, you can get pretty close. That's pretty much what's going on with it. And so, what a steal! You know, what a steal going with eBay. And again, the person who sold the lens had 36,000 transactions, and they had a 99.98 percentage. So yeah, I could trust a person like that, you know? And so uh, eBay to me, if, if you know how to do it correctly, is the way to go. So that's the lens I went with, is the Olympus 17mm f1.8. And it's a beautiful lens. See that the focus is going to now focus on my hand. Then you can see that I'm now blurry. But then I can also come pretty darn close to the lens. And I'm about six inches from the lens. And you can see that I'm getting a pretty sharp focus. A little fucking uh, little eyebrow, little eye, eyebrow right there. That that autofocus that just occurred, completely silent. On the hand, let's go the focus to the hand. Now we're driving it back there. Now we're getting in close. I mean, that's all one lens right there. That's the Olympus 17 millimeter f1.8. If you're gonna get one lens. You don't want to be switching lenses, but you want superb optical quality. This is the lens to get. It's $229 on uh, eBay. You might have to dig around to find another one at that price. It took me a while. I, I put this, what you do is you go to eBay. You'll have a, a search like option. You go under search and you have an option to every time a lens like this one, very specifically, put the focal length. Every time a lens like that will, comes up on eBay, they will email you. That's actually a really cool deal because you kind of get first dibs. Now, the thing is, I don't like bidding. I like the buy it now option. I'm a big fan of the buy it now option. The, the bidding thing, I've been burned on that before. I've been so excited about getting a product and then somebody outbids me by a dollar right at the last second. I'm just like, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and click on the bid button all day. You know, I just, I just don't like it. I like the buy it now option. So this was the buy it now lens right here. Okay, that brings us to sound. So sound is something that gets overlooked. I don't understand how important sound is. Oh my God. So as far as sound goes, didn't go to eBay. I went to Amazon and the microphone I got was brand new. It's a $59 microphone and it's the best $59 microphone you're gonna find in my opinion. And it's the most convenient microphone. This microphone is compact. It plugs into the camera. There's no battery. There's no power. There's no on off switch. Literally, you turn the camera on, the microphone's on. Not only that, but the microphone, which is the Rode Micro, check it out. Uh, the GH4, and of course we got the Rode Micro, and there's quite a bit, there's not a lot of wind, but there's just the normal, like we have a, a highway just down the street here. There's a lot of road noise there, and then we have some birds chirping and whatnot. The whole idea is with the Rode Micro is it's a, it's a $59 microphone, it's small, it plugs right in, you don't have to worry about batteries, you don't have to worry about packing a bunch of extra gear. And the portability of a vlog setup to me is probably one of the most important things. Right into the mic jack with no batteries, no no bullshit. Um, as as is demonstrated, because we're using the actual Rode Micro right now. We have the uh, Puffy on there, the Dead Cat windscreen on there. As I was mentioning, there is a little bit of wind out here, 
um, and a little bit of just normal like I was saying there's a highway up the street so there's a little bit of road noise and just normal outdoor noise and so this is my voice with no effects and then of course you know this is with the software right now now we've used the software and uh, done some post-production on the audio and so now here's the audio with the post-production but with the Rode Micro um, the cord actually unplugs from the microphone and unplugs from the camera. So if there's ever an issue with, with the cord shorting, I, the microphone itself is, is, the build quality is really good. It's a real solid microphone. It's compact. It's what we're using now. And it's 59 bucks. So I mean, if you really wanted to, eventually you could get a second one. And then you could set up like a multi-cam or something. So that's it. If your budget's $1,000, I highly recommend the Panasonic Lumix GH4. For the lens, I recommend the Olympus 17mm f1.8. And for the microphone, the Rode Micro. All right, we got to go. Chill computer guy, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys again. Bye-bye now.